Could you please tell us your names? I'm Laura App Angst. I'm Todd Angst. And what have you brought to the harvest today? Uh, today we have brought uh, a history of the App family and the significance to Sealand's Grove and primarily its relationship to Susquehanna University, the importance of that family. What are some of the objects you have? Oh, we have historic documents, uh, deeds of the App homestead. We have uh, some photographs, uh, a timeline of history of uh, the brothers who started the Missionary Institute and eventually the Women's College that eventually turned into Susquehanna University. So, so how old are some of these? Uh, the original document that we have here against the wall uh, was Johann Michael Ops son Matthias who uh, immigrated from Northampton County uh, in eastern Pennsylvania to the farm which still stands north of Sealand's Grove just north of the airport to the locals it's now known as the Heimbach farm but that in the 1790s was deeded uh, to Mr. App and began the history of the Apps and their importance to Sealand's Grove and the surrounding community. Has this, have these items just been in your family this entire mm -hmm. time? Yes. Mm -hmm. You've just kept on them all these years? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Handed down from generation. Handed down from generation to generation. Primarily, uh, Laura's father's sister was the last person uh, that was in possession of them. And after her passing, uh, they were given to us mm -hmm. to continue. That was my Aunt Betty Elizabeth App Priori. Laura is really the last descendant in the timeline of the Apps in Sealand Grove. And my brother. Her brother is in Kramer. Douglas App, he's local as well. We have two other siblings, but they, they live in Montgomery County. Were you uh, verbally told all this history or did you research it yourselves? Uh, combination. A combination of researching it ourselves, uh, Laura has a relation in Bristol, Indiana, a gentleman by the name of Larry App. Uh, he's more the App historian. Uh, he's been doing local research in the Sealand Grove area. Uh, the Apps originated in Germany. He was just recently in September in Germany uh, mm -hmm. trying to find the original family homestead of where uh, Johann Michael came from, uh, who immigrated over here. Uh, there's history of the Apps uh, going west to the gold rush, owning a gold mine uh, very close to Yosemite Park. Uh, Larry has located its location. Uh, one of the Apps that migrated west was married to one of the Donners of the Donner Party that crossed the Northern Pass into California. So it's, it's a pretty significant name and a lot of importance. Would you like to show us some of your items in more detail? Sure. Uh, I have scanned in, uh, here's three photos of the App Farm uh, back in the late 1700s, early 1800s. Uh, this particular photo here is a picture of the barn and a lot of Laura's descendants. Uh, unfortunately, we can't name who they are because there's no identification in any documents that we received as, as to who is uh, which individual but I'm sure there are well, most of these people in here are apps it's my grand my grandparents grandparents great-grandfather probably great-great-grandfather mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, uh, just another picture uh, looking from the north uh, on the back side of the property all right. Again, uh, not all of these structures are still standing, but some of them are still standing mm -hmm. today. Uh, most prominently, the homestead, uh, some of the outbuildings. The original barn, I don't know the exact date, unfortunately, burnt down. It's, it's on here. It's hard to read. It's hard to read. Mm -hmm. And here's a picture uh, in the past, but present day, if you use a little bit of imagination, uh, this intersection still exists today. and. The road drives by the homestead, which is pictured here, and that house is still standing, where uh, 
Laura's father was born. Russell. Russell. Uh, and, uh, of course, his father, Laura's uh, grandfather, Leonard, or Robert Lincoln, uh, and so on, and the timeline keeps uh, going forward. But it's, it's kind of interesting that uh, they owned an extensive amount of property. Uh, uh, the farm itself, uh, the land where the airport's presently built was that property. Of course, all Susquehanna University's property was that property. Uh, they owned land over uh, yeah, in the LQ. Uh, the cemetery that's just adjacent to the university here on the hill uh, is uh, was at property. Uh, John did not start the cemetery. Uh, he sold the land to the wagon seller family, who are the curators of the, the of the Union Cemetery. And obviously, if uh, you do a little bit of research up there and walk around, you'll see a lot of app tombstones where a lot of these people are, are entombed. Uh, so Laura's descendants especially, her father, uh, her grandfather, her great-grandfather, mm -hmm. and her great-great-grandfather are all buried in one uh, app plot up there. So, so just some history. Uh, some of the apps, uh, Solomon and Jeremiah, uh, who were sons of Leonard, uh, were in the Civil War in Company G, okay, which it's been told by me from Larry that the G represent the German descendants of the Civil War. That's why they're called Company G. Uh, again, uh, Solomon and Jeremiah were very influential people in the town of Seelands Grove, but they also served in the Civil War. Uh, I have not seen it. Uh, Larry, again, on his uh, information fact-finding, has been in Gettysburg and has seen some of the names, the Solomon and Jeremiah names down there. So. I know which ones they are. Which one? You want to point them out? It's listed right there. Oh, okay. The Solomon and Jeremiah. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh... Let me see, I keep my facts straight here. John Matthias App, okay, is the immigrant that went west. Uh, this is his photograph, and that's uh, Mrs. Donner, the lady that he married, who is the, the daughter of the Donner party. Uh, both of these individuals were part of the party when they went through the Northern Pass, so. I know in history, at least in high school anyhow, that was a pretty prominent thing you studied in history was the Donner Expedition. So This is unique because here's a tie to Sealands Grove, you know, going west. <laughs> I know Larry had spoken uh, uh, in that region out there where the gold mine uh, was located. He found the location of the gold mine. Of course, it no longer exists. It's been dynamited shut. But the original homestead still exists. Uh, there's relation out there. I can't tell you their names off the top of my head, but that are, that are descended down uh, of this these two individuals. Uh, he has spoken with them. Uh, he's been to the area of the gold mine. And oddly enough, there's a few mining museums out there where he has found artifacts in the museum that represent the at mine. So. Uh, as we spoke, you know, the original immigrant, Johann Michael, uh, was born in Germany in 1720. He came over here in 1752. Again, Larry from Indiana was out there this past September, and, or in Germany, and uh, these are just some of the German App brothers. <laughs> that are all part of the same family and, and somehow through the family tree of Johann Michael's brothers probably or parents and that's uh, that's where this photograph was taken uh, so it's quite interesting uh, the name of the town is Rotterdam uh, it was the ship in Rotterdam but uh, 
I can't t think of the name of the city right now where they came from in Germany. I apologize for that. Uh, anyhow, but again, apps in Germany. Oh, uh, this is a picture of the boat that Johann Michael came over in, uh, which is now the Port of Philadelphia. Uh, along with this document are a list of the passengers that were on the sailing vessel. Uh, and if you go down uh, further in the list, here you see Michael App, who was on that boat, the original immigrant. Uh, who came over here in 1752. Again, stayed in Philadelphia for a brief period of time, uh, moved him and his family uh, from Philadelphia to Northampton County around Easton, Pennsylvania, which is known as Easton right now. Uh, he had four children, one of them being Matthias, and Matthias is the individual that came from Northampton to Snyder County i.e. the deed Matthias App in the farm and since there's where the timeline starts with the local apps from Matthias. So, uh, this particular gentleman is Pius App again a descendant uh, of uh, the German apps this was taken in Germany this is the individual that uh, Larry went over to visit uh, I don't know if there's a direct relationship to Pius and these gentlemen that were in the picture. Uh, I have not been able to talk to Larry long enough to, to, to try to find out uh, if there is a connection. But yeah, again, yeah. just a, uh, just another app in Germany. That's all part of the same family bloodline. And here's a pretty unique picture of Solomon. Again, one of the individuals that was in Company G, just a little bit of a close-up photo. I really don't know where this photo originated from, but uh, it's kind of unique. So that's pretty much the documents that I have uh, that I presented today. Uh, what is that book right there? Uh, this book is just... Uh, it's entitled The Story of Snyder County, which was written, uh, the author is Dunkelberger in 1948. Uh, there's some tabbed pages in here uh, of mentioning of different app names and so forth in the borough. Uh, it's just something I kind of brought along. Uh, just to, again, to kind of tie the significance of Snyder County to the app family. You know, it's, it's in writing from a book written in 1948. In Susquehanna University. Susquehanna. There's mentions a lot. You know, you probably well know, I think I have this correct. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But, you know, Sealands Grove Hall was the first building on Susquehanna University. Oddly enough, the bricks that created that structure were built or came from a brick plant here in Sealands Grove that no longer exists, and the apps were involved with that. So, <laughs> kind of important. Do you want to show them the deed? Uh, we can. I don't know if you can. I think Ryan's gonna like edit that in. Is he? Okay. okay. Yeah. So the uniqueness. The, the uniqueness of that deed, uh, not only its age. Uh, it has Simon Snyder's signature on it. It has Anthony Sealand's signature on it. It has Catherine Snyder's signature on it. You know, I, d I don't know if there's a lot of deeds exist in Snyder County and or Pennsylvania that have their physical hand written. But again, that's the, uh, the original deed uh, from Matthias purchasing that farm. I have written uh, a little bit of a timeline here of the significance of the App family in Sealand Grove, which is this document here. Uh, it's, uh, it talks about Johann Michael, talks about Matthias, it talks about Leonard and John, 
Laura's a descendant of John. Uh, John's the individual that donated the land. Okay. Uh, from it's my understanding the way it worked is that uh, the land was purchased uh, for four thousand dollars, and John donated four thousand dollars back to start the university. So it was kind of a. Mm -hmm. So that, that's basically what we have. Is that over this piece? You can talk about that if you want. This piece is dated 1870 to 1895, so we believe that this is a 25th wedding anniversary gift and to Mr. and Mrs. Jeremiah App. And who is that from? I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. It's from the Miller family. Um, from, I can't see the, it's hard to see. Mr. and Mrs. A. D. Miller is who it's from. I don't know what the tie is there, but you can talk a little bit how it originated. Well, it's interesting because my father, Russell App, who is deceased, um, lived in Thompson Town, Pennsylvania, for a short period of time in his um, later years after he retired from farming, and um, a local gentleman that he knew from the restaurant had purchased this for $20 at, I believe, a yard sale, or it was either a real estate um, sale. And he saw the name on it, and he brought it to my dad one day and asked him about it, if and what an interesting piece, and the age of it, and if it was a relative, and, and indeed it is. So it was, you know, given to my father, which is really pretty cool that um, it got back into the, the hands of our family. So it's pretty special.